Hello internet world. Welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. Uh, in this video, I've got a really cool product from Vanguard. A big, big thank you to Vanguard who sent me out their multi-mount six for this video. Now they haven't asked me to say anything in particular or see this video before publication. All of the opinions expressed are indeed my own. And as always, this is live. So if you've got any questions throughout the video, please do pop them in the live chat. If you're watching afterwards, pop them in the regular comments section below. And if you want to buy this product at any stage throughout this video, or indeed check out the Vanguard website, please do check out the links in the video description. Let's get on with the review. This is the Multi-Mount 6. Uh, now, I've been actually using a Multi-Mount 6 for, I would say, about two or three years. Uh, this one has been sent out for this video uh, so I can show you it in its sort of pristine, pristine condition. My one's got a few nicks and uh, dings in it. But anyway, this is the product box. Uh, it's like a, a bar that you mount onto your tripod. You can see like an example here. So you mount it onto your tripod and then you can mount uh, various equipment to it like cameras, flashes, screens, etc, etc. It's a really useful device to have in your kit bag. Very, very useful indeed. And it's exceptionally well made. Let's just balance that box there precariously. I think keep thinking that box is going to fall over. So this is what the multi-mount 6 looks like. It's a, essentially a bar, horizontal bar. You can connect, you see these connectors on the ends. You can connect things to the end as well, which is really good. Uh, absolutely superb. So you can connect like extension bars, lights, etc., to the ends of these or uh, other sort of heads, sort of sort of uh, camera heads, ball joint, ball heads, etc., to this end piece, which is really very, very useful. Now the central portion, this bit here, with the threaded mount on the bottom, you can see there is an adapter in there, so you can actually have this on uh, this small thread or a larger thread. Uh, there's also a little turny wheel. This is what attaches to your tripod. So you're going to attach this to a, a tripod or some sort of stand. Uh, we can also move this. So if I just undo this, oh, I should have loosened this off before I started the video. So if we undo this, we can actually move this up and down so we can position this wherever we want to. And then we just tighten it down with this lever at the back. So this is what tightens it down. And then we've got this uh, turning piece in the middle here. This actually turns the thread at the bottom. So we can actually locate this onto our tripod and actually tighten it down. So very, very good, really well designed. Then we've got the horizontal bar, of course, and then we've got two additional mounts. We've got this one here, and then we've got this one here. And again, these have both got levers on them, so we can undo the lever to loosen it off, and we can actually place this wherever we want along the bar. So we can position this sort of up here, down here, underneath if we really want to, uh, and then once we've got it into the correct position, we can tighten this down, like so. Not going anywhere now, really, really nice and tight. And then we've of course got a threaded uh, connector on the top. Uh, this will actually fit standard uh, thread on the bottom of a camera, for example. And we've got another turning knob here, which we can turn to lock this down. A little bit of, um, uh, bit of rubber in here as well for padding. I would use this with a ball head. There is also a little adapter here to make this uh, a little bit more ball head friendly. So we can actually put this larger thread on like so. And then of course we can put this onto some sort of ball head. Putting a ball head on these, uh, like an extra camera head, uh, allows you to get more angles basically. It just allows you to move things around a bit easier. But you could mount, for example, a camera on this one. If you didn't have a hot shoe on your camera or you just wanted to mount it on the side, you could mount um, a microphone on the side, for example. And then on this one, you could move this one along to whatever position you want. And then you could mount something like a studio light on this one. Let's just loosen. Am I doing that the right way? There we go. Let's loosen that one off. I was tightening it. So we can loosen this one off, place this one perhaps in the middle, roughly about here, and then we could have our camera on this end, lighting system on this end, or camera here, microphone here, and you can adjust this to get it in the exact position you want. This is a very useful piece of kit. 
Uh, I see people building up rigs all around their camera, which is great because it keeps it nice and compact. But if you have got a regular spot that you're recording and you leave your tripod up with this mounted on it and your equipment mounted, you'll know you're going to get the same sort of uh, framing every single time. It's just such a useful device. Uh, my personal one I've got of these, I leave two uh, ball heads uh, mounted on here permanently with quick release plates and then I can quick release cameras on and off, quick release lights on and off and it makes it a very, very usable, very quick system to use as well. Uh, brilliantly made, really good uh, manufacturing quality as always from Vanguard and a really useful system for multi-camera setups or for cameras with lights. Uh, even if you're not doing video, if you're doing uh, photography, being ha able to have the flash off camera, maybe off to the side, is something that would be useful to you as well. Really great product. This is the Vanguard Multi-Mount 6. Highly recommended. Please do check out the links down in the video description to where you can buy this for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. And also, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day sometimes multiple ones. Have a fantastic day ahead and I'll see you in another video very soon.